Math Lesson 37. Thank you for joining us for our math lesson. Everybody say hello. Hello. Great, let's do our meditation. Everyone's favorite. So we're gonna sit quietly. We're gonna think about our heart center. We're gonna use two fingers to find our heart center. We're gonna put our left hand in our lap. Good, you know just what to do. And we're gonna close our eyes and breathe slowly together for a few minutes. Feel for your heart center. Feel for that boom, 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 right in your heart center. When you feel that boom, 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 your heartbeat, put your right hand into your lap. But keep thinking about that heart center. And let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One, two, 
and three. Slowly start to wiggle your finger. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly open your eyes and slowly stand up. Good, let's stretch your arms out into a T. Go up on your toes. Go up high on your toes. And reach down and touch your toes. Touch your toes. Come up halfway so your back is flat. Swing your monkey arm. Good. Come nice and tall, nice and straight. Straight back. Good, let's do it again. Put your arms into a T. And we're going to touch our toes. And that's right. We're going to swing our monkey arms. Good. Let's come up nice and tall. Turn to your neighbor. <laughs> Tell your neighbor hello. Hello. Tell your neighbor hello with the other hand. <laughs> Good. Give your neighbor a high five. Give your neighbor a high five with the other hand. <laughs> Good job. Shake hands with your neighbor. <laughs> Shake other hands with your neighbor. Shake hands with your neighbor at the same time with your hands crossed. Two hands. <laughs> Good job. Why don't you hold your neighbor's hand and do a spin around. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Good job. Let's put out one leg. See if you can balance with your other arm. See if you can jump. <laughs> See if you can jump three times. Good job. Stand up straight. Put out your other leg. Put out your other arm. <laughs> so we have one long line like this. See if you can jump. See if you can jump three times. Good job. Stand up nice and straight. If you did it, say, I did it. Say, I did it. Good job. Let's spin around three times. One, two, three. Woo. <laughs> OK, we're all a little dizzy. In this lesson, we're going to keep practicing our word problems. So we have a few activities so students can um, get a sense of taking away and putting together in word problems. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is a little counting practice. We're going to count backwards today. We're going to count backwards from 25. We're going to count backwards from 25. And every time we hit an even number, which is any number that ends with an 8, a 4, a 6, or a 2, we're going to clap our hands. Or a 0. We're going to clap our hands. OK? So I'll help you. So look at me if you need help figuring out when we clap our hands. It's going to be every other number we're going to clap our hands. OK? So we're going to start at 25, and we're going backwards. Here we go. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, Let's do it a little bit faster. Ready? 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 
Good job, friends. Okay, we're gonna count backwards again, one more time. Let's count from 100 backwards by tens. By tens. We're gonna count. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're gonna count by tens. And for every number, I think we're gonna clap our hands. Okay, here we go. 100. Everybody stand up. We're going to do it again with some jumps. <laughs> Every number, we're going to jump. We're going to count by 100s going backwards. Same thing we just did. Here we go. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. <laughs> Good job, friends. Okay, we're going to do a few practice problems on the board. Can I have Lat Gow and Pot come up to the front? Everybody else can take a seat. <laughs> okay, I have some little coconuts here. They're kind of hard to see, so we're going to use some of these coconuts to make a few word problems that we can practice. So here are some coconuts. Can you count how many coconuts you have? <laughs> so Lat Gal has blank coconuts. She's counting them up for us right now. How many coconuts do you have? Ten. You have ten? Yeah. Okay. Lat Gal has ten coconuts. Can you give Pot four of your coconuts? She gives pot. You gave him four coconuts, right? Yep, four. Okay, four coconuts. Mm -hmm. So we're going to think about how many coconuts does Lat Gal have left? Mm -hmm. She has six. So we'll say Lat Gal has six coconuts left. Six coconuts left. And remember this word gives, we're gonna think subtraction, because she gives them. She's already They're going to win. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let go, there we go. And right here, boop, boop. So, can you think about how we can make this a math problem using these numbers? How can we make that a math problem? Well, we're gonna think 10 minus, because it's gives. How many did you give? Four. Yep, four. Equals how many? Six. Good job. So we're going to do a few practice problems like that. We're going to think about our coconuts. We're going to think about how many she gives away. We're going to think about how many coconuts are left. So we'll do a few practice ones together, and then students are going to help make the equations. Okay, can I have the coconuts, please? Thank you. Thank you. Can I have Dao and Nadir come on up? Here's some coconuts. Can you count up those coconuts for us? She's going to give down some coconuts. Nadir's counting up her coconuts to see how many she's got. 14. 14 coconuts, okay. 14 coconuts. And she's going to give, so we're going to think subtraction. She's going to give. Can you give down six of those coconuts? Can you give her six of those coconuts? Equal 
Five, six, okay. Six coconuts. How many coconuts do you have left? She's Eight. counting them up. She is counting up those coconuts. You have eight? Okay, she has eight coconuts left. So how can we make this our equation? What number goes first? Fourteen. Fourteen. Minus. Minus. Minus, because of this word, yep, gives. Minus how many? Six. 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 Equals eight. Equals eight. Very nice job, my friends. Good job. I'll take your coconuts. Thank you. We're going to do, okay, hold on just a minute. We're going to do a few practices with addition. Addition this time. Here's some coconuts for you. Here's some coconuts for you. I want you both to count up your coconuts. We're going to do addition this time. How many coconuts do you have? 14? <laughs> I don't know about that. Double check. You got 14? Yeah. All right, cool. How many coconuts do you have? One. Count them up. Ten. Ten? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Pro has how many coconuts? Ten. Ten coconuts. And Pang Pong told me he has how many coconuts? Fourteen. Fourteen coconuts. So we're going to think about how many coconuts they have together. Good job. Remember when we hear that word? All together or together. We're thinking adding. We're thinking addition. So how can I make this into an equation? What number should I put? Ten. 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 Plus. Good job. Great job. Twenty-four. Great job, my friends. Remember, together, plus. Good job, I'll take your coconuts. Thank you very much. Coconuts. How many coconuts did you have? Eleven. Pak Boon has eleven coconuts. Good, remember when we see this word all together, plus or minus? What are we thinking? Plus, good job. So how can we write this out? How can we write these numbers all out? Twelve. Plus equals 23. Great job, my friends. Okay, we're going to keep practicing. We're going to have students help write the equation this time. Okay, can I have my three friends come on up? Blackout pot, Nadir, come on up. Another addition. These will be for you. These will be for you. And you're going to be my writer. So. Hot has some coconuts. Let go has some coconuts. Okay, here you are, my friend. How many coconuts do you have? You can use my hand if you need a little table. You're good? Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So Pot has 12 coconuts. Can you reach up there? If not, I'll do it for you. Okay, maybe let me do this one. Boop. So Pot has 12 coconuts. Latko, how many coconuts do you have? You have 12 too? She has 12 also. 12, so we're thinking all together. We're gonna think plus or minus. Good job, so can you write this out for us? We have 12 coconuts. We're thinking plus because of this word, together. Plus. Mm -hmm. Because of this word, when we see together, we're going to do plus. So she's got the 12 coconuts that Pot has, the 12 coconuts that Let Go has, and our answer all together. Let's add them up. Wait. Our ones. 24. 24. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. So all together we have 24. Good job. All right. Can I have the coconuts, please? Can I have those coconuts, please? They're tasty. Let's have our next three friends. Count up your coconuts. 
count up your coconuts. Let's do two up top. Two, two, two. It's very similar. You both have an A and a K. Okay, how many coconuts did you have? Me, 12. You have 12. Can you write 12 in for us? Pakbun has 12 coconuts. You have 12 too? Yeah. Okay. You're right. Good job. Can you reach up here for 12? I think that one might be a little high. Can you reach up here? Equal 20. Ten. Oh, you got it. It will ten. You have twelve? All right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Good job. So all together. Yeah, we're going to do plus because we see this word all together. So we're going to think plus. So we're going to write that as twelve plus because we have all together. So that's twelve equals. How many does 12 plus 12 equal? 24. Very nice, my friends. Gonna, very good. Oh, check that out. <laughs> 12 plus 12 equals 24. It sure does. Can I have the coconut? <laughs> okay, so we have a few word problems from our uh, worksheet our, or our flashcards. And each one is a little problem that shows some pictures about addition or subtraction. So we're going to look at our word problems and we're going to try to think about what those word problems are telling us and then we'll try to make an equation out of it. So we're going to do a few together first. So the first one I have, what are these little guys? Can you see? They're ducks. They're like chickens. They're ducks. Little ducks. They're little ducks. Good. And how many, okay, so we're going to read it together. How many ducks are there all together? Four. All together. Remember, think about when we hear the word all together, are we doing plus or minus? Minus. Together, we're doing plus. Good. So, how many ducks are here? Four. How many ducks are here? Two. Two. Good. And we see this word all together. Good job. So, we're going to think four plus two ducks equals six ducks because we have this word all together. All together. Okay. Uh, all together. I'll show you. You don't have to write anything just yet. We're going to practice. Just going to practice a few. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's look at another one. We have some bananas. You don't have to write anything. You don't have to write yet. We have some bananas. How many bananas are right here? Six bananas. How many bananas are right here? Three. Three bananas. Okay. Three bananas. We have six bananas and we have three bananas. Let's read. How many bananas are there all together? Plus or minus? Plus. Good job. So, good job. So we have six bananas plus three bananas equals nine bananas all together. All together. We're just going to think about it right now. In a minute you're going to get some to practice writing. So we're just going to think about them together. You don't have to write anything right now. You don't have to write anything right now. Okay, let's look at a subtraction problem. We've got some bees here. Can you count up these bees for me? Okay, let him do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one? Nine. Nine. Okay. We have nine bees. How many are crossed out? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bees. See? 
Hold on, I'll, come, I'll give you a, something to work on. We have nine Bs. What's happening here? What do you see here? An X, right? We see one B. One B going away. We see one B going away. When we hear the word away, or see the word away, are we thinking minus or plus? Minus. Minus, good job. And one B went away equals eight. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's check out another one. We're not writing it, just thinking. We're gonna write in a minute. Okay, how many cows are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six cows. Four. We got six cows. How many of those cows are going away? One, two, one, two, one, two three, four, five, six. Six cows? How many cows two. are going away? Two. two cows are going away. If they're going away, are we doing minus or plus? When they go away, are we doing minus or plus? Minus. minus. Six minus two <laughs> equals four cows left. Good job. So now we're gonna pass out some different equations to each student and we're gonna see if they can think about what's happening in the pictures and we're gonna write an equation out for each word problem. When students finish with that one, you can switch up and change them around so everybody gets to practice with a few different equations. You want some ducks? You got some cows. You want those cows? Yeah. All right, have those cows. Okay. Okay, hold on. You got the bees. You got the butterflies. Ooh. You got the flowers. You got some bees. You don't have to erase. That's okay. You got some flowers. You don't have to erase. That's okay. You don't have to erase. Okay, so look at your picture. Look at your word problem. And you're going to do just the same thing we did. You're going to think about if you have addition or subtraction. You're going to think about if you have addition or subtraction. How many cows? One, two, three, four. Two. Okay, so how many are all here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, so we have six to start with. Good job. Okay, so six, and then we're gonna minus. Come, yep, good job. You got some bees now. Finished? Let's get you some elephants. All right. What's six minus two? How many cows are still here? One, two, three, four. Four cows. Give me this one. <laughs> you're going to keep that one. Okay, you're going to do the same thing with some bees. Okay, hold on. If we see these, we're doing minus. Minus. So you have the right numbers. Some butterflies. So count up how many you have all here. Equal one. Finish. How many are all here? Finish. So how many are all here? Three. Two. Three. Count them all up. Bees? Take some bees. Okay. You want some bees? Have you finished? Good job, friends.
Good, we can give this one to Pangpon. Got a new one for you? Prow, you can give that one to Pak Boom. Give that one to Pak Boom. Okay, we're gonna move on to addition. Addition, so we're gonna think addition. We have this word together, together. So that means we're gonna do addition, okay? When we see that. Good job. Bananas. Yep. Good job. <laughs> you got your dinosaurs? Okay. So we have how many ducks? Four. Four ducks. Yep. yep. Good job. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna we have this word all together. So we're gonna think plus. Okay. Dinosaurs. Have some ducks. Oops, I'll take that one too. Thank you. Good job. Finish up the one you're working on. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, put your paper on here. Thank you. You're finished. Put your paper on top. Thank you very much. Great job, guys. Everyone did such a good job. Thanks for joining us for our math lesson. Can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye.